Greenhouse gas emissions across the planet remain lower than normal due to the international COVID-19 restrictions, but according to a new report, it's likely not low enough to have much impact on climate change. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen explains. According to a new report from the World Meteorological Organization, there have been global emission reductions in the three big greenhouse gases, nitrous oxide, methane, and carbon dioxide during this year's COVID-19 restrictions. But they concluded that those reductions, which include a 17% drop in carbon dioxide or CO2 during the peak of the shutdowns will not be enough to have much impact on climate change. You know, most of what was reduced was really passenger traffic, right? And that's just a smaller contribution to the overall CO2 emissions. Gabby Fister with the National Center for Atmospheric Research says that energy production, industry, oil and gas extraction, and long haul trucking have the most impact on climate change. And the data shows that those factors have not decreased during the pandemic. And she says that just nine months of reduced emissions are a very short blip in the lifespan of a greenhouse gas like CO2. Um, CO2 can stay in the atmosphere for hundreds of years. So now you can Im imagine if you have one year where you slightly reduce the emissions in the grand scheme of things, it's not going to make much difference. The World Meteorological Organization estimates that CO2 is about 66% of the contribution to atmospheric warming. The report projects that there will still be an overall increase in CO2 in the atmosphere by the end of 2020, but that increase will likely be about 4 to 8% less than how much it went up in 2019. But it's not going to solve our problem of climate change. That needs to be committed sustained emission reductions. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News. Fister also says the reduced emissions have improved air quality for most areas, but it will be difficult for scientists to isolate the benefits on the front range due to all the wildfire smoke we had this summer.